What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am Laughing Coyote, and this is Cricket 19 LCT 10 Cricket Champions League. We've got Group A fixture today. All right, match number 17 in this LCT 10 Champions League. It's the Lahori Donuts going up against Punjab Strikers at the Ghazafi Stadium, Lahore. Now, technically, it is a home game for Lahore. But the Punjab Strikers, obviously Lahore is in Punjab, so it's sort of a home game for both of them. There are the two lineups, and the 12th man, as always, is yours truly. It's a dusty and hard wicket, which is really to be expected of Lahore, really. That's a, a typical Lahore wicket, very suited for the batsman. And um, Punjab has uh, called heads. There we go. It's going to be heads or tails. It's going to be heads. So Punjab strikers have won the toss. And um, they'll elect to bat first. All right, it's a batting surface, so I think that's a good decision. All right, so Oin is uh, keeping the same tactic as he did last time, starting with Adil Rashid. Oh, my goodness. Did you see the swing on that, a spin on that, I should say? It's brilliant. Rohit Sharma, though, he's up for the challenge. Was given that one a bit of flight as well, but Simmons picked up on it. That was a wrong one. He's played it ever so nicely off his legs, and that's gone for four. It's gone full, and he's been put away. Rohit Sharma, he was quite patient with Adil Rashid, but not with Brody. Rohit Sharma pulls that one away ever so nicely. That's gone for four. Mr. Reliable. Keeps being reliable here. He moves on to 10 with that. And Seward Broad did not like that at all. But it is Roy Sharma you're bowling to. You're going to get beat a couple of times. He'd be sponsored by Reliance. Because, you know, if there's anybody you can rely on, it's Roy Sharma. He's played that one so nicely. He's picked up a single. Just a single there. They're all runs. They all count. Adil Rashid brought back into the attack. Oh, that's a very unorthodox shot. That's not what you expect from Rohit, but... If he's doing it, he knows he's got it then. And he's done it perfectly. That's gone for four. Reverse sweep to perfection. Oh, he goes after him again and into the gap again. All right, he's been working on a new shot, it seems like. And it's paying off. That's one not gone to the, to the boundary for four, but they have picked up three. Just one run short. Still pretty good. Ooh, full and wide from Wokes. That's not good. Simmons has put that one away with zero effort. Well, that's not true. Some effort had to go into it. And I think about it. Is Rohit practicing those unorthodox shots because Virat laughed at him the last time he tried an unorthodox shot? I don't really know him to be that kind of a player. You know, he's normally very uh, traditional. Very safe, which is why... He is one of the best in the world at the moment. Yep. It's a lovely backward punch into the gap. Extra cover. It's running away. It's a quick outfield. That's gone. Oh, that's gone. It's a very quick outfield. But that was timed well, though. Yep. Oh, now. Look at that. He's really taking Virat's laugh to heart, isn't he? Oh my goodness, sabotage from his own fielder. That was, that could have been a run out. Why did he... I don't know why he did that. I don't know who that is in the leg slip, but that was a sabotage right there. Wait on. But really though, Rohit, come on. You've got nothing to prove. Just keep playing your normal shots. I mean, to be honest, he's executing these unorthodox shots quite well so far. But they could go wrong. And... Um, I want him to score a 50 here. I want him to get up there and uh, top run score. That's a very well placed shot. You know, that's more your style. Come on, keep at that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, simple. It's on the legs. Oh, that's gone. And that is gone. That is played so well. Into the 30s he goes. I'm loving this. This is going to be a really good contest because Lahori Donuts got a really good batting lineup. And I want to see Rohit go off because I want to see a real battle of batters at the end. Keeps on his leg side again. Has he cleared the rope with that one? Has he? Has he? Has he? No! Just short. One bounce over the rope. 
That's very good. 35, he moves on to it. That. Nisha coming into the attack. That's a very good shot. There's a field, and I think he will stop it. Simmons pushing, or Rohit rather, pushing for that second one. Right in the end, they get there. That's 50 partnership up between these two. Both of them are so good. Goes full and wide. Simmons unleashes. One bounce and that's gone. Four runs. It's weird how I have to say it's the Caribbean player who needs to unleash. He needs to step on the gas and he does just that. He moves into the 20s with that's a lovely shot. It's a very good shot but they need to step on the gas. So Rohit is doing his bit but Simmons wasn't doing all that well. Well he is doing great now. He's moved into his 20s of uh, how many? 18 deliveries which is pretty good. But he needs to do a lot better than that. 8.62 is not going to cut it. Not against Lahori Donuts. That's one of the best batting sides in the tournament. That's a very good shot from Simmons. It's almost as if he can hear me. He's just following orders perfectly. Sharky Bull has sound. What are you going to learn? You've got so much experience. You keep bowling on the body. And it's Rohit Sharma you're bowling to. One of the greatest batsmen of our time. And I think he's reached 40 with that shot. Put a fielder back there for that shot, but it doesn't even matter, it's Rohit. He's got a vast variety of shots in his locker. He goes into the cow corner this time, and it's 44. He moves on to just six away from that 50. Was a bit full and on his legs again. He split the two fielders perfectly there. That's gone. Four runs from Simmons this time. Moves on to 31, where that is sounding got to be quite a partnership up top. They're picking a pace a bit now. They're approaching 40, I mean 10 run rate. 40, what? It's a very good shot from Rohit. And with that, he reaches his 50 of 28 deliveries only. It's very well batted. Very well deserved. Brody goes short again. And Rohit he hits that well, but there's a field who picks it up. It's just going to be a single. Lovely shot from Simmons. There's a fielder there. Oh, he's dropped it. It landed just in front of him, but he's dropped that one, which allowed the batsman to take two and thread a one. That's a very poor fielding. Yep. Goes short again. This time against Simmons, and Simmons is like, you know what? I've been at the other end watching Rohit execute those hooks perfectly. I've learned a thing or two from him. Goes full and wide, and Rohit with a big hit. Oh, just short, one bounce, four. Two deliveries left, now he's pulled that one away. He loves that shot, doesn't he? He's played it so often in this game and in the prior games. Moves on to 59 with that, he's batted so well. Punjab should be really proud to have him on his team. He's a real asset to any team, really. Last delivery, will they cross 100? Oh, that's a very good delivery. That's nipped back into him so sharply, it's completely undone Rohit Sharma, and that's not easy to do. But they fall short just two runs of a hundred. And I don't know how this is going to turn out to be, because they have got a very promising bowling line up Punjab. But then again, they are going up against Lahori Donuts, who've got such a great batting lineup. 98 without any wickets lost very well batted from both the openers they've done really well now it's up to the bowlers to deliver the goods there we go second inning starts right here right now Alex Hale is accompanied by Quinton de Kock and it's Dale Stein to open the bowling for Punjab it's just a battle of stars right here there we go first delivery Dale Stain to Hales. It's a good length and it's a dot. Oh, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. That is very poor fielding. And that's a single instead of a dot. It's full. It's played it straight to the fielder. All right, this time the fielder's hanged on to it. Length delivery and that's straight into the hands of the fielder. Quentin de Penis is gone. Best wicket for Punjab strikers is Dale Stain, who strikes early on, putting pressure on Lahore. 
This is what I was talking about. Lahore's got a really good batting lineup. They've got a lot of depth. But then again, Punjab's got a really good bowling attack as well. And Quinton is gone. Quinton de Rooster. And it's Steve Smith. The other Mr. Reliable coming out to the middle at number three. Right, Halesy and Smithy out there in the middle. Dale to Smith. Short and it's gone. There's a fielder there and he stops it. All right, good fielding. That's just one run. Goes short. Oh, that's very poor from the keeper. That is extremely poor from the keeper. He has to stop those ones. He cannot let... Oh, this is, this is damaging. These batsmen do not need any help. All right, he bowls on his body again. And Smithy smashes that one away. First boundary of his innings. Oh, he got that to move back in a bit, but it was a bit too full. And Smith puts that one away as well. Into double digits he goes. Saying to ball his last over. It's a length of delivery, but it's put away so nicely by the tall bloke, Alex Halesy. It's been a pretty quiet start to the inning so far. Oh, it seemed like for a minute it might travel into the hands of the fielder, but no, that's gone. Four runs, Halesy. He's getting into it now. Good length delivery again. Halesy smashes it away. He's getting in his groove now. Now he's running on all cylinders. Oh wow, they're using up yes. bolts last over as well. That's been put away so well again by Steve Smith. That's gone, four runs. It's a very good cut shot right between the two fielders and that's gone for four. Smith is looking in fine neck now as well. And this could be the partnership of doom. Zamson brought into the attack now. Oh, that's a, such a cheeky shot. That is so clever. And he's executed it perfectly. The lap shot or the ramp shot or whatever the hell you want to call that. That is so good. Oh, hell is he. That is cheeky. Seems like he's been spending way too much time with Jossie Butt, but... Marsh to Smith from one Australian to another. He smashed that one into extra cover. One bounce and that's gone. Four runs. It's brought up their uh, 50 partnership. They're looking in fine neck here. And he's gone! Just as I was saying, he's looking in fine neck. Steve Smith is gone, scoring 25 runs. Mitch Marsh knows his number. And he's got him. Cotton bold. There you go. Look at that. Back foot punch. Could not get it right on the middle. Wanted to go through cover and said, played it straight to Marshy. And he makes no mistake in collecting that one. But here's the thing. Here is the thing. There is the thing. <laughs> Oin Morgan still left. That's why I said they need a few more runs because they've got such a deep batting lineup. It's a very good pull shot. Has he beaten that fielder on the boundary? Oh, yes, he has easily. It's on his legs. He's flicked it away ever so nice. Lean to the cow corner. It goes, and that's gone for four. Owen Morgan, captain of Lahore, is taking on the charge. Two boundaries, two deliveries. It's too short. It's gone. It's got the treatment it deserved. Too slow, too short, too easy for Halesy. Quinn Bravo, oh that's too full and Morgan keeps calm and collected just pushes it into the cover trusting his form and it's raced away to the boundary for four sometimes that's all you need a push oh, he spanked that one that's not a push that's a heave that's an absolute mighty blow that's gone to the boundary for four all right lovely Lahore Looking good now. Looking in uh, cruise control. Oh, wow, that's a mighty blow. Will it travel the distance though? Oh no, it's been dropped. That could have been a great catch actually. What? What? What is happening there? They've almost still managed somehow after that poor display of fielding 
to get a run out but that oh my how have they dropped that I mean it looked a bit difficult from the angle we saw it the catch that is but they should be able to take it they are professionals a drop catch it's a catch of Alex Hale is the man in top form and now Morgan is on strike who's in an even better form all right that was way wayward delivery took a step back he didn't want that to go by like that he could have just left it that would have been a wide but no not Morgan he's in top form why wait for a wide when you can put it away for a four it's full that's lovely into extra cover he goes that's 26 of seven deliveries all right he's not messing about it's a very good shot from Halesy into extra cover as well and that's gone for four all right with that hole they need our five runs they've got two overs to do it in and they've got two batsmen who needs way less than that to finish it off yes. okay that's nicked and the keeper just watches it go past him it's gone for four all right it was a bit high I mean I get it but at least try to get your hand to it maybe you'll slow it down if not catch it but the scores are level now and Owen Morgan on 31 of only 10 deliveries imagine if he had more time all right he just pushes it into the gap and takes the single keeps it simple wins the game like a true leader what are you doing bro oh, come on you've lost the game <laughs> still looking to ball all right the Lahore Donuts have won by eight wickets very comfortably in the end and they've completely undone the work of Rohit Sharma and Lendl Simmons look at that brilliant batting from those two 59 of 35 38 of 25 98 total with the loss of even one wicket pretty ordinary bowling figures Al Rashid was pretty good Nessa was good too but besides those two the others did not do justice gave up 98 total then the Lahori Donuts came out and the bowlers were pretty good to be honest for the most part got a couple of wickets but Halesy Smithy and then at the end Oin Morgan 32 of 11 not out when oh, they just took the game away from the Punjab strikers very good stuff and I mean look at that if Morgan goes or um, Hales goes who's the next man to come in it's Shakibul Hassan so you're not <laughs> you're not out of trouble <laughs> you're still on the hook Stain got a wicket Marsh got a wicket Marsh was very expensive in the end Zam Staney and Bolte all nine economy rate but Rohit Sharma gets them out of the match for his brilliant 59 not out right so in group a this is how the stats are looking chris wokes is the highest wicket taker without adil rashid right behind him mitch marsh right behind him four five three oh there's okay i was gonna say if it if it looked like one two three but there are a couple of bowlers who's taking two wickets and here are the highest one scorers is steve smith and Rohit sharma two of the greatest of our time battling it out separated by four runs only all right so after that game this is how this group is looking rahori donuts have they've made it to the next round but they have to make sure they keep their net run rate up even if they lose their remaining three games they can still make it if their net run rate is high enough and obviously if they win the next game then even if their net run rate is low they've made it strikers right behind them they've lost two games one one the Bajan Lions right behind them. They've got two points as well. And Peshawar Zalmi have lost two games. No points. I'm still hoping for that late Portun comeback though. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice.